Spanish Sonata in F major for flute with my cousin, Ms. Susan Bell for piano. Um, something that's kind of interesting is this piece has three different time signatures in it. It goes from common to three-fourths to um, six-eight, which allows for kind of different feels through in each movement. So. Great, thank you, good luck. <laughs>
Dum, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, just go ahead and sing out there because very quickly by measure four, we're down to mezzo piano. Right. And the bigger those contrasts are, the nicer it is. So that's that's kind of cool. Keep your tone focused. Very occasionally today, I heard it would just like, didn't, uh, like you got some sounds in there that you weren't intending, I think. Like, and I think it just wasn't focused really good at that point yeah. in time. Um, your overall, you did a great job and you've got a lot of skills with the notes. In the second movement particularly, your trills are incorrect. So what is the rule on trills? So to the next one. Next one, what? Next one. We're like, uh, Ish. Or like down or up to like where we get Okay, to so I'm gonna give you the rule on trills. <laughs> <laughs> In the Baroque time period, which Talamon is, okay. you must start them Okay, the note, the note always goes, the trill always goes from the note on the page, mm. let's say it's D, yeah. to the note above it within the key. So you must account for a flat or a sharp. If it's a D to E flat, you would trill that, you know, with your pinky. If it's D to E natural, that's a completely different trill. Gotcha. And you have to start on the higher of those two notes. So for example, um, yeah, let's look at the Largo on the, the C sharp in measure three. Okay. Say, so the basic trill is C sharp to D natural. That's what we're going to. But you'd have to start with a little grace note, and I don't have that. I know that little Ossia part, I didn't have that with me right here. You want to start that on the D and then go to the C sharp. So da da di ya di ya di ya di ya ba da di ya di ya di ya di ya. And then I also don't think you were trilling it. Well, maybe it was really out of tune because it's a C sharp, but I know that some of the other trills were not quite the right notes. Yeah. That's okay. Just fix it. Just go through and know what, because we have to be like the experts on the trills. Mm -hmm. Us and the oboe and the clarinet, we're like the experts. So. They're wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just just be, be aware of it. Be careful with it. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I really liked your tempo on the Allegro. Uh, watch your articulation a couple of times with the dee da da dee da da in those kind of triplety things there. Yeah. The tugging got a little bit away from you. So just be just a little bit careful with that. But really nice job overall. It's a great solo for you. Well, thank, thank you. you.